There's so much drama going on right now. Ooh. Oh. Hey, what is up all my social distancing friends? It's Dustin and I'm back with another video. And in this video, we're gonna be discussing Jeffree Star and Tana Mojo. It seems as if this quarantine really has everybody going crazy and there's a lot of drama, so I don't know how long this video will be. However, just sit back, grab a snack, and we will jump right into it. So as many of you guys know, Jeffree Star did upload his video that is number one trending on YouTube right now, updated house tour being single and quarantined. And in this video, Jeffree addressed all the videos that have been made about him recently regarding the Aston Martin that he pretended to purchase for Nathan. I just want to say that his house is immaculate and gorgeous. I could only dream to have something half the size of that one day. That Versace wallpaper was stunning. But here's the whole tea about the situation. Around 19 minutes and 59 seconds, Jeffree Star goes into his garage. He starts talking about Nathan and the now pink Aston Martin. Jeffree explained that he did change the title of his video as well as the description and then he quickly changed it back. In my opinion at this point in time in this video, it does seem like Jeffree is kind of vulnerable and he is kind of upset. You can kind of tell in his body language that he's uneasy speaking about this situation. Now of course I don't really know the tea because I don't feel like it's right for me to reach out to Jeffrey and ask him for a statement about this whole entire thing because that's not my business. I just like to speak on things that are public. But Maddie said something that really stuck out to me. Um, even like for legally um, for my protection I don't really want to say anything. So I've been kind of depressed going through a lot of emotional roller coaster stuff on top of the business being closed right now and just everything. It's been really overwhelming so I can't believe I'm dealing with stuff like this <sighs> but I don't know you guys I'm not trying to get emotional but um <sighs> it's sad what you do for people and what they do in return it's truly scary sometimes. She said, it's sad what you do for people and what they do in return. So I don't really know what that means. If I had to guess, it would be that maybe Nathan is trying to get money out of Jeffrey, which is honestly sad because like I said in my previous video about Nathan and Jeffrey, Jeffrey afforded Nathan a lifestyle that he would have not had access to previously before he ever met Jeffrey. Even now, Nathan is in a better spot because he does have such a big social media presence. This dude could tweet anything out if he made a Twitter or if he decided to go on Instagram and post pictures, he could make so much money just because of who he used to date and how widely known his name is. I know that I'm reading into the situation quite a bit with this, but I truly feel like if Nathan is trying to get something out of Jeffrey, that's really sick. But you guys let me know what your thoughts and opinions are on that down below. Now let's switch gears just a little bit and talk about Tana Mojo. Now you guys know that Tana has been in the spotlight quite a bit here recently in the past week or two. Also, I did just want to let you guys know that I do have a video coming out about Tana by Tana. There is some really shady things about Tana by Tana that I have found out personally from my own experiences. Look for that video later this week. But as you guys know, Tana's web episode the other day where people were alleging that Tana downplayed the seriousness of asthma as well as many other health issues. And then the whole web episode with Trevor Moran. First one to literally pass out wins. <laughs> I don't know what you win. And the promotional video that MTV put out didn't go over well with people. Tana has yet again managed to get herself in even more drama. Tana tweeted out of someone's personal information, a classmate mate from her former high school and she captioned it bitches I went to high school with are out here getting pregnant and spelling September wrong now you guys obviously I'm not going to put that information in this video to protect this person but how shady and shitty do you have to be to do that to someone Tana has millions upon millions of people that follow her people that will defend her every waking move and bad decision and Tana put this girl's information out there for the whole entire world to see the only thing that Tana blurred in this picture was the girl's Facebook page and her name and sis, when I tell you people started coming for Tana, they really came for Tana. Lane replied and said, you really just exposed a girl's full name and birth date, which in turn exposed a child's name while questioning someone else's intelligence. Someone else replied and said, yikes, let's put a pregnant girl on blast for spelling a word wrong while having her full name in the picture for your 2.2 million followers. Tana, no, this is not it. Not only is this so messed up, but Tana left this up for almost two hours. Two hours with 2.2 million followers. So of course you guys know how that goes with the internet. People were already finding this girl's personal Facebook page and harassing her. Now this unnamed girl has went private on Twitter and locked her account down, but her bio does now say, I see you lurking. 
I don't mind. Now, you guys know that I'm all for a clap back if someone comes for you, but I just feel like this was completely out of line for Tana to do. She knew the reaction that her fans would give this person, and it was completely unjustified. And I would really like to know your thoughts and opinions and your feedback on this down below. Also, you guys, let me know your thoughts and opinions on this whole thing with Jeffree Star. I know it's a whole entire mess, and I wish Nathan as well as Jeffree nothing but the best. I mean, at the beginning, I did feel a little bit sorry for Nathan, but now that it seems that more is coming to light, I really don't anymore. Please, you guys, stay safe, stay home, do not go out if you don't have to. Just chill and do something worthwhile. But with all that said, I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.